everyone. This is Brittany with Redeemable Junk. Um, I'm just here today to show you this um, junk journal cover that I made. It's very easy to make. I made this one out of fabric, but today we're going to make one out of double-sided scrapbook paper. It's very easy. It opens up right here and opens up right here. Let me get a half piece of paper real quick. Show you. It has a one and a half inch spine, so your your journals would go right there. And then it would fold over. Isn't that cute? Once I plan on once I get my uh, the proper eyelets, I plan on putting an eyelet right here, some ribbon, and tying it around it. It's gonna be so cute. So let's get started. So if you're going to do just a normal piece of paper that's folded in half, which is what I like to do because it's just simpler, you're going to need from one side to the other, you need it to be at least about 20 inches. This one is actually 19 and a half inches. Um, so 19 and a half to 20 inches. I went ahead and I got some double-sided scrapbook paper. You only need two pieces. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay them down and measure them to measure out to be 19 and a half to 20 inches. Just a little bit more. There we go. That's good right there. Let me get a pencil. I had one and I lost it, of course. I'm always losing everything. There it is. So I'm going to mark it right here. That's about where we want it. I'm going to get my Fabri-Tac, or you could use some art glitter. Since I'm running low on my art glitter, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. Since you can get it in Walmart, Hobby Lobby, wherever, art, art glitter, you can't. You have to get it on Amazon. And since it's cold outside, I don't know how well it's going to ship in the mail. So you just glue it over. Now, if you're going to use um, uh, fabric like I did, it's the same concept, only I'll show you when we're going to cover it with fabric. I'll show you the point where you would cover it with fabric. Where is my bone motor at? I am such a mess. I'll show you how we would do it with fabric also. Let that dry for a second. So that's what the front looks like. So then we're gonna get our handy dandy, uh, what is this thing called? Uh, our little creaser thingy. Oh, I can't remember the name of it right now. Oh, where's my brain? Um, anyways, we're gonna get it. What you're gonna do is since a normal size paper is about five and a half inches from side to side, it's a little under five and a half, we're going to make a one and a half inch spine. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure from the one over to the five and a half, and you're gonna make your crease. And then you're gonna measure from the five and a half over one and a half inches. So that would be over to seven, and you're going to make your second crease. Now that's your spine for your one side. Now we've got to do the same thing over on the other side. So we're going to go over five and a half. And then we're going to go over another one and a half, which would be seven. And there you have it did that the wrong way. I wanted that to be my outside. So if you're just using scrap of paper, that's where you would end. It's that easy. And there you have it. Opens up there, opens up there in your journal. Let's go right there. Your signatures go right there. And that's what you have. Now if we was covering it with fabric, what we would do so I'm going to go ahead and show you, since we got some time left. Let me get some of my fabric real fast. So if we was covering it with fabric, what we would do is you would take your fabric, you would take your, uh, your 
fiber fix and you would put glue all over either the front if you're doing the front put it all over I use my finger and I swish it all around so it don't leave sometimes if you don't it goes through the fabric and you can see it and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your fabric over it now you want an overhang you want an overhang of about let's say an inch on both sides so you'd put that on there and what I do is I get my brayer and I roll it down real good in my brayer and then I go and I cut about a half an inch from the edges all the way around it okay so when you flip it over you should have an inch overhang on all sides okay and what I do is I get my scissors I just cut the edge all the edges like that and then I take what's overhanging and I fold it in and I glue it okay so if we have that step done then I get another piece of fabric here's some and I do the same thing to it only this time you don't want no overhang so you want to get as close to the edge as you possibly can you put your fabric fix down all over it you either roll it or you push it on real well with your fingers or a brayer whatever you have and then you're going to pick the journal up and you're going to cut as close to the edge as you possibly can okay on the inside and then what I do is I go and I sew around it so let me show you where's mine at so like for instance on this one I hope all this is making sense and I'm not going too fast and not too scatterbrained but on this one this was my cover so I had a half or I had an inch overhang on both sides you can't see it but I folded that overhang over onto this side and then I got this piece of fabric I glued it on and then I cut as close to the edge as I possibly can you can't see I don't think Let's see if it is zoom in or focus in see you can see how the one overhangs but the other doesn't and then I go and I put a stitch all the way around it and that is how you make a soft cover um, junk journal cover it's really neat it's kind of it's a whole cover so it's different than the ones like for instance it's different than the ones like this that just opened up okay see the difference this one goes all the way around this one don't so if you like this subscribe to my channel and right now we're doing a giveaway I have a Facebook group it's called redeemable junk journals we have a wonderful group of ladies over there I just love them to death they're so awesome and they share tutorials and their creations and so head on over to that Facebook group redeemable junk journals and like it and once we hit 100 um, members I will be giving away a junk journal yes a full junk journal a whole junk journal the one lucky winner so head on over there and like it and if you liked what you've seen here subscribe to my youtube channel i hope you guys have a wonderful day bye